Yo, 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 it's the Millionaire Trader. Alex Jenkins checking in one more time, and I'm doing an analysis on AUDUSD. So right now, guys, you're looking at a uh, supply and demand chart here, guys, and looking at the year. Starting at 2021, as you can see where the market went, went came, where it came from, and where we stand now. And you can see how the market reacted to the supply and demand zones, as you can see right here. So the market came back to this area and the market came to these areas. We're going to focus on the current market where we're at right now. And previously, the previous yearly low is here. And here's the current yearly low now. So right now, we have an engulfing candle right here. It's a 66 pip engulfing candle. So right now, this is really letting you know it's really momentum really just starting to shift. And we may be working on a pullback here, guys. A pullback in the market. So we know it's going to, more than likely it's going to retest the 71054 first. Okay. We're going to focus on more areas in the market. So here, here we're looking at the day chart, guys. And this once it reached the 7504 area, I'm expecting maybe some more upside movement because it may just blow past this area. And the highest it may go is 71.691. So there is an area down below where possible if the market does pull back and it could be a target area below this area could be 68.257. Okay. But right now, right now we're in the current market. So right now we can just go ahead and, uh, put a trend line on this pullback. Now it's at 75, 7058.2, and moving up to the upside, we're going to get a break of 7062.4. Okay. And we're going to see where this level came from, guys. Right here. The spike down below. That's where the 7062.4 came. We had a bit of a resistance there, just a little. So we're expecting a breakout through this price to the upside. Been slowly but surely moving to the upside. There hasn't been a lot of momentum, a lot of volatility in this movement. Okay, so I'm expecting upside movement to at least a 71054, and maybe higher, the highest on the high end of it, 7169. Before we get a determining factor, once we reach this conflict area, this area of conflict. Okay, because just as you can see, what happened in this area. A lot of consolidation here. A lot of consolidation. The market was was very indecisive at this point. They didn't know whether whether they wanted to continue to move to the downside and continue this trend, or move to the upside at that mo at that point. So it decided to come down as we as we all can see, and make a low, and continue the trend. Guys, this is a well defined trend here. This is a well defined trend here. All right, this is a well-defined trend. So we know the market was moving down. So we're going to get a bit of a pullback. As you can see in this trend, the pullbacks wasn't as powerful, guys. We had a slowdown period. This wasn't a clear-cut pullback. So we had to slow down and consolidate it for a while before it decided to move to the downside. So we right now, we're actually going to work on the pullback here. All right, so right now, my forecast for the next few days is upside movement for the remainder of the week until we reach this area. Okay. All right, guys. That is the analysis for Australian dollar, US dollar, guys. Hope this helped you guys. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, check out the community tab. If you want me to do another, any other analysis on any other pairs or any other, uh, Asset classes, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. All right, guys. Alex Chick is checking out.